Three. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Keisha, have you ever seen the movie Gremlins? <laughs> I feel like I see that movie every week on this set. <laughs> okay, I'll let you do your hello. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> I am Keisha Boyd, your host for Mocha in the Morning, where we're adding a little flavor to your morning blend. This is my co-host, officially Jorge. <laughs> Y'all, let me tell you. Happy Friday! Happy Friday! Ow, ow! How are you, honey? I'm good, but you know what? So, uh, well, I just got back from Philadelphia. Uh -huh. Shout out to my girl. Mm -hmm. um, she was a keynote speaker at an MS dinner, so that's super awesome. Nice. This is me and her living our life. Yes. Um, but, um, you know, summer is here. Summer is almost here. And girl, It so, feels like summer, I though. I know. The Fly Girl Fitness Tour and oh. Residency at it's the Hip Room. It's a wrap. Okay. It's coming to an end. Such as our season I know. is coming to an end as well. We have two more shows after this show before we close the season out. Just to take a break, refresh, and regroup for the next season. But we have so much more in store for these next three shows, including this one. So, you know, make sure you guys stay in touch with us on True. social media. Mocha in the Morning or Mocha Morning Show. Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, all that good stuff. That. We'll still be kicking it with Kia on the weekends. Yeah. All that. So we all still that. have stuff for you. Yeah, because it's time to take a holiday. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and a break. We'll be right back. But <laughs> we're supposed to do our first coffee. Yeah. The break after out. we have our coffee. Because <laughs> no. obviously we need it today. The first I, coffee. The, the first coffee. We'll be right back. <laughs> oh. I don't have any. Mocha in the Morning is brought to you in part by the Portico Cafe where conversation, connection, and community create change. Three, two, one, drop! Welcome back to Mocha in the Morning. We are still adding flavor to your morning blend. I'm your co-host, your, co your host, Keisha Boy, and this is my co-host, Official Jorge. Yes. Listen. Officially, fabulously employed, multiple job Jorge. Yes, 75%. Listen. <laughs> Y'all, we have a lot of fun on set, we, so we do, when we're we giggling, it's, yeah. it's because this one right here is, is doing the absolute... Oh, my fault. The most. But we gotta get serious. Okay. No, seriously. Yeah, seriously. Let's jump to these steamers. Why do I not always have to bring the seriousness to the I side? Mean, it is what it is. Okay, Let's yeah. go. All right, so, Alabama. You oh, know, the town Alabama. where Beyonce Mama's from. Yes. Right? So, mm -hmm. uh, it's a big day for Alabama because they're, uh, well, we're talking about what's, what could be the biggest anti-abortion law to actually, like, take effect, of course, 40 years after Roe v. Wade. Right. And Alabama is looking to do what? Well, um, this is the T. Uh, if you are a doctor in the state of Alabama mm -hmm. and you were to practice, you know, an abortion on a patient, I mean, you could be locked up in jail for up to like nine for your life, wow. like ninety nine years. I mean, you can be. I mean, this. I'm telling you, these are the strictest uh, anti-abortion laws that we've seen, and it's. I, I really think is a stunt that that legis uh, that all of the uh, that that state government is doing because they want this to go to the, the Supreme Court. Right. I think they're really um, they're thinking they probably do have a chance to overturn Roe v. Wade. And the thing is, my solution about this whole abortion you know topic, which I think is so forty years ago, mm -hmm. if you are against abortion, don't have one. I mean, period. It's basic. Absolutely. As a, as a woman. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know, I think it's very important that we do have the choice um, to do what we feel is best for our lives and mm -hmm. our bodies. So we'll keep you posted on yeah. that for sure. Well, the thing is, too, because um, this is really strange, right? And this kind of goes along when I saw this story. Well, there was a woman you know, in the state of Alabama mm -hmm. who was incarcerated. Oh, and guess what? She's pregnant, and she has no idea 
how that happened. Listen. And her family has no idea. So how that happened. now we can talk about this. Let's we talk can about talk, it. We can yeah. talk about it. I mean, because yeah. we all know really like how it happened. Right. Kind of thing. Now, but like that, she doesn't really know what happened. I guess when it happened. Do you believe it? Well, this is the thing. Because you know, I don't know if I believe it. Well, because health uh, healthcare issues and women's reproductive rights, right, tied into the kind of state that Alabama is, mm -hmm. tied into this new abortion law. I'm just very hypersensitive when it comes to women's issues and especially women of color because we all know that a lot of times um, they are either put to the side yes. or, or ignored when it comes to their concerns yeah, yeah their health concerns and issues and we saw that with serena williams oh yeah where even she had to put her foot down and be like hey you're not going to tell me what i know about my body mm -hmm. and i think that it just all seems so it's a mess it is it is a mess and this is very true there is a real issue with with black mothers um giving birth and mortality and all that good stuff um so that's something that we'll definitely keep keep you know watch on but in texas more guns more guns and more police shooting guns at innocent unarmed women People, yeah. and this time one who was possibly pregnant mm. who told him that she was pregnant before he shot her now the crazy thing is this man had been harassing her allegedly already because mm -hmm. they were neighbors mm -hmm. and you know she apparently took his stun gun and and shot him and then or you know stunned him or whatever yeah. and then sh you know he shot her five times while she was on the ground it's unreal. We like, did, we, what? We talked about gun violence last week. So if it's not someone shooting up a school, it's another police officer shooting someone of color. Right. And it's always like having to explain like after the fact, such as this next story. Correct. Uh, with uh, Mr. Garner. Yeah, Eric Garner, Garner. You know, it's we're going to find out what happens to Correct. the police officer who put him in the chokehold that actually, you know, killed him. Killed him. At, the, at the end of the day, killed him. And he's trying to say there were, you know, other health issues going on with him. But as we all know, okay, when you're yeah. being choked, anything that's happening in your body is, you know, exasperated. It's like it's it's right. it takes effect immediately exactly. because your body has no oxygen going to it. So right. there is no excuse. Yeah, like it, all your other health issues have nothing to do with anything if you're being choked to death. Correct. You can't breathe because those are unknown to you. So we'll keep you posted on that. Yeah. Now, so, on a much lighter a note. A little lighter note, okay, let's talk about Miss Sierra. Miss Sierra is popping up all over the place. Yes. Saw her at the Met Gala twerking. Yeah. Right? So that was interesting. Saw her at the Billboard Awards mm -hmm. performing, which I'm showing you a little bit of her performance right now. Yes. She's Sorry fabulous. about it, Getty Images. This content belongs to me. <laughs> <laughs> but she's got a new album, so she's trying to bring the goodies. Okay. It's called Beauty Marks. Beauty Marks. I like yeah. it. Yeah. I like it. Sierra is good. You know, some people are like, Sierra can't sing. But she's like, you know. Sierra's rich. She is. <laughs> she can do what she wanna Who cares do. Cares if she can, she can sing, sing or, not. or not. Hello, if J Lo can make it, she can. Thank you. You know oh, what? Oh, oh, no oh, tea, no oh. shade. Yeah, but, but they're both really good dancers. <laughs> they are, yeah. and that's what's propelled their career. Yeah. So I mean, get I'm just on the floor. Hey, hey. She's giving us another dose. She released all these singles, and uh -huh. then like the whole album comes out. That's so awesome. So I'm gonna go and make sure I yeah. take a listen to Miss Sierra's Bruce yeah. Marks, and we'll be right back with this week's piping yeah. hot. Like with that. our own own content. Yes. <laughs> All right, welcome back to Mocha in the Morning, where we're adding a little flavor to your morning blend. I am your host, Miss Keisha Boyd, and you have our co-host, Mr. Officially Jorge, and our special guest, Beltrinda, is in studio with us. She's an author, and you're going to hear all about what she's doing and what she has coming up in just a moment. But for now, it's time for our Piping Hot, hot segment. Hot, hot. And Jorge, why don't you introduce our hey, contributor? So this week, we have our favorite Ooh. Mocha in the Morning contributors, starting with, I mean, you all know her because you love to kick it with her, Miss Kia Shakur. Hey, girl, hey. What's up, guys? I'm so sad that we're coming to the end of this season. And I'm excited about your hoop earrings. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then we face. also have joining us today, Miss Dr. Businesswoman, CEO of everything, 
Jen Dobson. Hey, girl, hey. Hi, guys. So glad to be on again. Look at you all looking glowy. All right. Thank so you. let's jump right into this week's jump Piping right Hot. Mm -hmm. um, Cancel. Cancel. <laughs> Down. Right. <laughs> Done. Okay. Listen. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So our friend Steve Harvey. Mm -hmm. Who's friend? Okay. So Steve Harvey is. We would love to be friends with you. Trust me. For yes. Real. For real. Hit us. Send us a welcome moment. <laughs> is two of his shows got canceled? So yeah. first, mm -hmm. his daytime talk show mm -hmm. is being replaced by Kelly Clarkson. Right. Okay. Who's a fabulous singer for American Idol. She is. Yeah. I love Kelly Clarkson. I just, mm, okay. Right. Can I just jump in like really quick? Yes, please. I have an issue because this is the thing. Like, whether you like Steve Harvey or not, that's his thing. He is like right. a professional right. host. That's the jig. What bothers me is a lot of times in this industry that we're in, like, I'm just very like, stay in your lane. Like, I'm not trying to sing. I'm not trying to do backflips. I'm just trying to be the most fabulous host you've ever seen. <laughs> That's my lane, okay? Right. But it seems like if you're in the business, whatever you gotta do just to get a job, just to get a job, to get a job. Yeah, you do. It's kind of like they're like you're doing it, and I just, it's just so diluted, you know? Yeah, I don't. You think don't it's think Kelly's last. show's gonna last long? Not no. At all. Why? I just, I don't. She doesn't really have the personality for to me for like, a talk show. Yeah, for the talk show, and well, then she has to gain his audience because you know they're watching it, right? right? Well, in addition to the the talk show, they also replaced um, him on Little Big Shots right. oh. as a host. So Melissa is it McCartney? No, she's hilarious. She is hilarious. See, now her, she could do the thing. She could do the yeah. thing. She could do the thing. You know, so so that's that's that. Kia, I know you had a lot to say about Steve Harvey <laughs> and these cap cancellations, girl. I am so petty, but I'm happy that I can bring some real, like, little bit of background information to this. So what ended up happening with the Steve Harvey show is that he was originally based in Chicago, but he wanted to be based in L.A. The company that was representing him on the Chicago show said, we don't want to move to L.A. because, you know, it's way more cost of living there. You have to pay your staff. And they didn't think they could bring the audience. Steve also wanted to do this whole late night TV show thing, which is really not his audience. But he decided to move to um, L.A. anyway, and he couldn't bring the audience with him. The, the uh, late night format did not work out for him, but they let him keep his time slot. He just, it just didn't work out the way that he thought this big move to L.A. would work. But we all know making that jump from somewhere like Chicago to L.A., that's a big, it's a big jump. And he just couldn't, couldn't do it. But I do agree with Jorge that, that people do need to learn to stay in their lane. Um, yeah. Kelly Clarkson sings, you just sing. If you're a model, you should model. If you're an actress, you should act. And I know a lot of people get annoyed when, you know, singers try to be actresses or try to be talk shows. It's like, you don't know how to do this. I built my craft. Stay in your lane. So I, I agree with that. Now, speaking of cancellations, yes. okay, we have Empire. Oh, but the Empire is crumbling. It's crumbling. And the likes are it's out of power. And, the, <laughs> and so is Star. First of all, take a quick look at this meme with Monique. <laughs> Y'all know she you, is. I feel so, out. She earned it. Out. She, hey, out. she is somewhere out. with the popcorn, the mm. hottest tea. With the hottest tea. <laughs> it's steaming. That's it's the real steamer. steamer. Yeah. <laughs> she is somewhere like, uh huh. God don't like ugly hand crazy. Jen, what are you, what are you, uh, Jen, I'm sure you're a fan of Empire and Power, aren't you? Since that's how you built your business. <laughs> Look, no, because that's. <laughs> Thing. It is so. I have not watched not one episode of Empire in my life. Now I have seen a few of the Powers, but I I never consistently watched it. Um, so I will say that there was some good storyline in Power a little bit, but then it got weird. But no, I haven't been a fan of either show, so I don't really care that they got canceled. Bye, see you, whatever. Great. Oh, okay. Maybe we'll put on something a little better. Listen, now I am personally vested into power. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I love yeah, me, me some ghosts and power. Me too. Me too. Oh, me too. So I was like, what? Yeah. First of all, you make us wait for like eight months for a yeah. new episode. Yeah. And now you're going to cancel it. I watch be, both. I, I, now, I love, I love power. That's me and my husband's time when we spend <laughs> and we watch power. That's your power hour. That's yeah. our power hour. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. But, you know, they said they're going to do a little spinoff from oh. power. So mm. I'm interested to see how Is it 50 Cent? Um, yeah, with 50 Cent okay. and Courtney, the writers will be doing like a spinoff of it. So we'll Good. see. We'll keep you posted. All right. Okay. All right. So 
moving on. Mm. Fashion, which I know. No lane. These two, you two. Okay. Speaking of lane. Yes. <laughs> Rihanna, Whoopi, they're all doing yes. some great things. Let's Good. talk about Rihanna and this monumental thing she has. What? Going. Okay, first of all, what is it that anything that not even touch? Like, Rihanna just has to, like, I don't have a thought about it. Blow it. And it <laughs> is yeah. just. And it blows up. Black girl magic all over the world, yeah. right into her bank account. Yes. Right? <laughs> right? She True. goes, everybody's here for whatever it is that she wants to sell. Yeah. yeah. And everybody wants to buy it. It's I know true. you are a fan of fashion, hair, and makeup. <laughs> yeah. Tell me what you think about this. is This is huge. Her, okay. I mean, she's going to be in the same house as Louis Vuitton. Yeah. Okay, they have an out of houses. That's big. And the French don't do that. They don't just be, you don't, you just don't put couture. And right. they're like, no, not here. Yeah. And she's going to show. Like, yeah. Paris Fashion Week. Yeah, that's, that's huge. That's mm -hmm. really, really big. I'm not the biggest, biggest Rihanna fan, but... I support her entrepreneurship. Right, because your and face is really beat. Yeah, yeah, I try to beat it, honey. <laughs> <laughs> and she, she's amazing. She's amazing. And I'm all for black girl magic and especially her um, exploring all uh, these different atmospheres. Do it. Do it. Mm. It started with makeup. And her Fenty line was sold out for a week. Yes. So imagine how this is going to do. The All right. From the makeup, the Pumas. Yep. And she's going to, I'm telling you, this is like super. And she's she's great. acting too. You know, she's on the um, Guava Island yeah. show. On the, yeah. 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 She did she's good. Doing a couple things. I mean, that's how happens when you like, girl. when you put in the work, 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 work. work. Hey, right. Hey, hey, that's hey. what I'm trying to do. <laughs> hey, Kia, I know you're a fan of Riri. What you think, girl? I think it's fantastic. I just hope that her line is still accessible to her fans. Because what happens with a lot of people, Kanye West, you get a clothing line and now your your clothing are like fourteen hundred dollars and nine hundred dollars, but your actual fans and ones who spend the money on you can't afford it. So I hope she has her ready to wear where it's reasonably priced and then she has her very, very high end pieces. Because, you know, that's what has been her bread and butter. I mean, look at the um the Savage Fifty line. That's mm -hmm. all very price accessible, but really, really nice bras and underwear for people of all sizes so i i'm really happy for her and i can't wait to see how the how, how is it fenty maison is that how you pronounce it yes, yeah. Maison, yeah. Yeah. Yay, go Kia. Uh, uh. <laughs> hey jen do you think students are going to be able to afford like the new uh maison fenty line look they can't afford their student loan payments it's, the it's always no, the same okay no <laughs> no it did not happen <laughs> well, you maybe barely you can afford Whoopi's line. Oh, oh. Whoopi did do that. Whoopi do that. <laughs> Whoopi so do. Whoopi has a new line called Dub G. Dub G. Dub G. Okay, Dub and G. it's all it's it's so Whoopi. It's yeah. so big and flowy, <laughs> flowy, <laughs> and just like I don't give a care in the world. Yeah. And but I'm, I'm cool with it though. I'm yeah. like, hey, because somebody likes to wear that stuff. Hey, I like to wear that stuff around yeah. the house, you know. I don't know if I'm going to go out. I don't even know. Yeah. You know, it's just a dress I, mean, I can just right? see you like in like a big white pressed Oxford, you know, and just I don't know out. if I'll be able to do Whoopi's line. I yeah. love her. Whoopi. You know, I love her. <laughs> and you know, I heard that she never wears um, a pair of shoes twice. Mm. I heard. You know her no, she doesn't wear like, a pair of shoes twice. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so old. Though. My kids are the... <laughs> She does not yeah. wear a pair of shoes twice, and she actually ends up donating her shoes yeah. to different yeah. charitable organizations to be auctioned Ooh. off. So she she does not wear a pair of shoes twice right. ever. Yeah. Wow. At least yeah. on her for appearances and everything. And I'm actually looking at her website right now for WG, and it is a lot of flowy stuff, but it's also very cute stuff. Like again, as a mom, Ooh. I know we're moms. It's stuff you would wear so you don't look grungy going to go pick up your kid from school. It's that type of stuff. Yeah. Like instead of wearing the highest house coat or the yoga pants, you can throw this on and look fashionable right. and get out the door. Yeah, I, 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 I think it's cute. I think I it's definitely think cute. We're going to put it on Mocha in the Morning's website. So hopefully. You're, you're saying like more like Lulu Melanin. Lulu. Something like that. I'm done with you for the rest of the time. <laughs> <laughs> no more talking. So the look, maybe in some of our upcoming things, we'll be donning some yeah. of. Uh, Fenty Maison and the WG line. We'll see. Now, <laughs> for Boss Moves, Netflix is snatching all the talent, they right? Know, they the talent. Been, okay, I need listen. to write them. Hello? I really okay. do. Listen, I need to write Netflix. Kenya Barris, creator of Blackish, who's been with ABC forever, is now taking his talents to Netflix hey. along opposite side Rashida Jones. Hey, Rashida. Okay. 
and they are going to do a black excellence, almost like a comedy yeah. show. Yeah. And I'm like, what? Okay, this is good. Yeah. This is really good. Listen, what do you think? What do you think Netflix like? Are they like onto something with the snatching it? They like... They've been on. Oh yeah. Netflix been on, and I think that now that they're getting all of the their audience, that they're getting an audience from everywhere. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So now that they're really popping. Let's do it. They're taking I mean, they're it and running with it. That seems so much. Now, uh, Kia, you're a huge Netflix and chill kind of girl. <laughs> I am. I, I'm excited about this, but Netflix is really going in a very dangerous direction um, as far as their, the content has been concerned. Because there's been a couple of shows that people have really, really loved. And because, I guess, advertisers didn't like it or something, they just canceled them. So I'm hoping we are not bringing great writers and, and people over to Netflix to produce these great shows only to have the advertisers say, eh, we don't really like it, and then they cancel it. So that that's my concern. I, I think it's great, but it just makes me nervous. Because Netflix really is going in a really weird direction these days. Hey, Jen, from a financial perspective, what do you think is going on with Netflix? I think Netflix is making some really smart power moves um, financially. I mean, they're bringing in all of these amazing writers, amazing amazing actresses, these powerful people. And it's going to turn Netflix into the next big, like, almost like cable show uh, where, I mean, we already see that most people, anybody I know, don't pay for cable anymore. We have Netflix, Hulu, and a couple other things, and that is it because that is all we really need now. So if they keep going, they're going to take over TV completely. Well, so yeah, it's smart. thing is, um, you know, according to some, you know, articles that are out there, basically what Netflix does whenever they have, like, new shows, the goal really is to be able to get to, uh, uh, be able to get new subscribers. Yeah. Like, based oh, yeah. On yeah, based on the popularity of the show. And usually after three seasons, they're like, okay, like, on to the next. Yeah. So it's yeah. almost kind of like, you know, you have, like, fast fashion. Uh-huh. So it's almost kind of like Whatever fast the trend. film production okay, yeah. and moving on to the... They only want to invest so much if they're getting that return back immediately. And it's then they're taking that. Mm-hmm. And the, so that way they're always going to have a hit. Yeah. yeah. No yeah. matter what. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I think because of the way society is now... We get bored so quickly. Yeah. And so after like three yeah. seasons, you have to bring something really, really good. True. Mm-hmm. You know, and then you want to end it while I don't like this new <laughs> book that she's got coming out, right? <laughs> you know, we read the first one and we're like, we need more. And then boom, she yeah. gives three us years more. later, Same. another book. <laughs> that was good. Yeah, it was good. <laughs> He's good at that type of quick on his feet. All right. Speaking of coins, coins and more coins. Yes, more coins. Listen. Major moves in higher education. Now, our girl Jen Dobson is going to definitely take over in this section this because this so is your lane, so her lane, okay? <laughs> so most student loan borrowers, okay, which I am one of them, most of us are, right? right. Interest, rates, interest rates are going down. Hey, going down, down. 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 down yes, Jen, down talk to us about this. Because who doesn't love down. going down? So it's good, but it's not as exciting as it should be. So the problem is, is that interest rates have been too high. They should go down. They should have gone down a long time ago. Right. When That's the right. big uh, mortgage crisis happened and all the rates dropped for mortgages and all the rates dropped for car payments, guess what happened to student loans? The rates went up. So students are coming out of school with 6.8, 7, 8% interest rates on student loan debt, but you could buy a house at 4%. Yeah. Doesn't make any sense. So yes, the rates are now going down for those that are starting school, which is great. So they're going to see a little bit of a lower rate. But in my opinion, these rates should drastically be decrease well beyond what they are now. So Jen, to me, like, don't you kind of think it seems like a setup? It's kind of like you're charging the people with the least the most, and it almost seems like a setup, right? You're absolutely right. I mean, right now banks are paying more than 100% less to borrow money than students are. So you're saying students who don't have any income, come out of school barely still getting jobs, should pay the bulk of the interest compared to these large banks that have billions of dollars that are paying 0.2% and 1% interest. It doesn't make sense. And that's why we're at $1.5 trillion in student loan debt right now. That's and crazy. Meanwhile, Latte Land, they're just trying to get their kids into school. Look, hello. <laughs> My goodness. Now, speaking of students, and Jen, I'm going to bring you back on this one, too. 
Georgetown University mm -hmm. student body yeah. voted to pay a fee. It's like twenty seven, almost twenty eight dollars, to benefit the descendants of enslaved people that were sold yeah. by the school to yeah. pay off their debt, mm -hmm. like way back, way back when. Right. So, mm -hmm. like, I'm like, wow, this is mm -hmm. this is big. It That's is, huge. For me, it, it is big, and I think it sends a message out there that you know we don't have to wait for our elected officials to do something, yeah. to do something. That's and this right. is like, you know what? We're not gonna wait on you. We're gonna do whatever we can do mm -hmm. and actually really do it because we don't have all this time for y'all to be going back and forth. Correct. Up in, you know, on the hill. On the I'm hill. For it. I'm for it. Absolutely. <laughs> so Jen, what does this mean? So, I mean, keep in mind, guys, that yes, they want to implement it. It hasn't officially been implemented. So we need to check back on Georgetown and make them accountable to actually make this happen. But it, it's a really good start to what we should start seeing in most schools, most institutions, most government places, because when we look at the pathology of white privilege in America, we know that it's the reason why more black and brown people are less advantaged than others. And somebody has to take responsibility and we can't ask for previous slave owners to now take responsibility, they're gone. But those that are here should take responsibility for what has happened to our ancestors and try to right those wrongs at this point. So I'm all for it. I just hope that Georgetown actually does it. I'm making this face for a reason. The reason why I'm making this face because I feel like this is another thing that looks good for the school that's actually not going to happen. It looks great in headlines. It looks like you guys are trying to do something. So we we've, we've made ourselves look good. So let's drag this out as long as possible so that it it. it I don't think this is going to happen. Like I I don't. I think it looks good in the headlines. I feel like Jen kind of agrees with me a little bit that this looks like it's good in the headlines that it just might not happen. Right. No, I, I agree. I mean, I think that now, you know, it's one of those things, like you said, we see it as being exciting right now. Yep. We need to check back in six months and see if they've actually done it or if they just quietly step back and nobody talks about it again. So Thank you. exactly. Well, we'll don't know yet. We definitely keep uh, up an update on that because that's pretty big and it's a big step for them if they do implement it. So we hope that they do now. To close out our piping hot segment, right. let's talk about Black, Black Girl Superman, Black. honey. Okay, I have two <laughs> coffee mugs in front of me. Yes. Okay. Yes. One of them is not gonna get slurred. Hello. Okay. Hmm. The other is gonna have to like get packed. Give it. So listen. <laughs> Tyra Banks. Tyra Banks is with an X now. Let me tell you. Let me let me talk to you over here. <laughs> Tyra is forty-five, and she is on the cover of Sports Illustrated. She now, is yes, my love. Yes, <laughs> okay. She is snatched. Do you hear me? She looks beautiful. She is, she is the epitome of black girl magic. We don't. Crack. The black don't crack. If you ever heard of that, it don't crack. This lasts most of our lives, y'all. I'm telling you, I'm so proud to be a black woman. And I'm so happy to see that Tyra is doing her thing. And so are other women over 40 who give us hope. Like, you know, it, when we were younger, we used to like, oh my God, 40. 40 right. Oh my God. Now it's like, shut up, 40. I'm looking Let's forward to it. Let's get it. Let's go. Like, we are 45 looking like we 30. Yeah, right. like legit. Side with assets, money in the bank. Hello, right. hello, and uh, snap, 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 yeah. snap, snap. Tyra is killing free. it. <laughs> you know, that's I ain't right. debt free, but I'm right. still cute. Okay, listen, <laughs> Kia, what? You better have something good to say about Tyra. Oh, of course I do. I first <laughs> want to give a, a huge shout out to Sports Illustrated for yes. not over photoshopping her yeah. in the pictures. And I tweeted yeah. about this and it, it got a bunch of retweets, but it's true. She looks like a natural 45 year old beautiful woman. They didn't go too crazy removing the little marks and bumps and this. They just they cleaned it up the photo a little bit, but she looks amazing and it yes. definitely should be celebrated. I'm glad she's coming out of retirement and I'm glad she's also putting back in there that curve are what sells because the Kindles of the world and the Gigi Hadids of the world 
don't nobody want to see that, and nobody wants to sleep with it. So let, let's stop oh, that. Yeah. Look, all I know is that, first of all, Tyra Banks, with an X now, um, she was the first, uh -huh. okay, black woman to uh -huh. appear on the cover of Sports, Sports Illustrated yes. by herself. Uh-huh. Okay? Yes. And this will be her third cover. Yes. That's amazing. Yes. It is. That's amazing. And Look. inspirational. It, it really is. is. It is. Oh and God. it makes financial sense in this climate. So we're going to go Sports Wendy. Illustrated for making, I, I also want to say it's financially smart for Sports Illustrated, um, especially in this climate. Mm -hmm. oh, so yeah. thank you for, you made a good business decision. You made a good yeah. cultural decision. Yeah. You made a good 45 and up decision that's, for yeah. women. So yeah, yeah. That's they covered the it. Queen they covered of the it. That's good. That's right. That's good. That's right. Awesome. Jen, do you have, I think, don't you have that same bikini girl? <laughs> yes, she does. He does, look, by the way. Wish, yeah. okay, I wish. But you know, she looked, I honestly believe that she looked better now than she yes. did in the original photo. Yes. Like, I looked at the two pictures, I was like, she looks way better now. Like, she looks yes. amazing, so hats off to her. Yes. Absolutely. She had her nice meal yes. and then took the and picture. <laughs> Like you get all this. Well, honey, that's what millions of dollars makes True. you look like. True. Yes. All right. Oh, Listen, good. thank you so much, Jen and Kia. We'll see you all thank you. next Hi. week. Hi. Um, of course, we'll see Kia this weekend with her weekend, weekend recap with Kicking It with Kia. Yes, yes. I will have sure. that. And I cannot wait to talk to everybody the weekend recap. Bye, guys. Yay, bye. bye. All right. We'll be right back with our Mocha Ooh. Moment. Welcome back. We have a little bit more show to go for today. Jorge, you want to talk about our bold roast? Yes, we want you to stay tuned because we have hostess and author Valtrenda. All right, her new book is coming out tomorrow. It's going to yes. drop. So we have a special bold roast because we're going to get the tea <laughs> on this book that all of you need to get. Absolutely. Well, this week we have three mocha moments for you. And don't forget, if you have mocha moments that you want to share with us, pictures with your kids, your, your students, your coworkers, whatever, it's all positive and love. We want to hear about it. Send it to us via Facebook, Twitter, Instagram with Mocha Morning Show or email us. However you want to get it to us, make sure you just tag us and we'll be happy to share that. So our first mocha moment is honoring Miss Elizabeth Barker Johnson. She is 99 years old. She's a World War II veteran who didn't get to receive her actual mm. degree from Winston-Salem Winston -Salem State University in, North, in South Carolina. And we're so excited to, you know, show this clip to you of her getting her degree. Never too late. Never too right. late. Never too late. 99 problems, but a degree is Ain't not one. one. No, that's right. <laughs> All right, our next Mocha Moment is one of a good friend of mine. Her name is Abeba Salterwoods, also founder of Salt Loft. And she went to a gala recently. She's an assistant principal um, in Hillsborough County, Florida, and ran into two of her students. She said, you know, be her students in middle school. And now they're all grown up and graduated. She was so, so proud. And she told us all about this black boy joy. So our final mocha moment is a personal mocha moment because my baby sister, both my baby sister and brother are going off to college yeah. in the fall. Uh, They're yeah. going to Florida A&M. And, him. and mm -hmm. um, my sister last night uh, got a scholarship, her first one of the yeah. season. Woo woo, because we need that money. Okay? I know that's right. So <laughs> shout out to the, the ladies of Delta Sigma Theta, Tampa Metro chapter for honoring these young ladies for their excellence in academics and community service. And congratulations to all of the young people who were on it last night. Now hit them books. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Yay! What a show! Hey, we sing it all the time. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, it has been amazing today to have Valtrenda in studio yeah. with us. Thank you for adding a little bit of flavor. Look, yes, yes. look at all this flavor, honey. Just ooh, just fine. <laughs> she is. She is. She is amazing at what she does. Her voice is amazing. 
She's an author. She's a great mother, sister, yes. daughter, all that good Thank stuff. You. So we're so happy to have you and Thank so you. excited to you know, see Thank the bold you. roast that we do and get in yes. depth about your yes. book. Um, thank you for tuning in for today's show at Mocha in the Morning, where we're adding a little flavor to your morning blend. Make sure you follow us on social media, on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Mocha Morning Show, on YouTube as well. And make sure you share it with others. Please. Make sure they know and join share. the family. Don't be, Don't be stingy with all this, this goodness. I'm like a watch you yes. I like it. Yes, I like it, right? So we'll see you next week. Once again, we're two shows left for this season. We're so happy and we thank you for joining us for this week's Mocha in the Morning. Have a great weekend. Bye. Bye. Hey, hey. Hey. Bye, <laughs> No, no. <laughs>